uh, welcome again uh, for remain presentations of uh, cost plus inflation uh, the cost plus inflation uh, the, as we have seen there uh, means increase the uh, expenditure of a particular uh, commodity or particular uh, factor according to the producer point of view uh, uh, here basically we think about the fluctuation in agriculture uh, fluctuation in industrial product rise in the raw material price uh, third point is consumer speculation waste push inflation fourth point is trade speculation profit push inflation and fifth point natural uh, crisis uh, uh, when we cover these are uh, five point in the cost push inflation uh, we can understand uh, cost push inflation uh, this category is more relevant to natural climates and we know that when uh, uh, natural climate will come uh, basically producer point of view in agriculture field the, the agriculture there is uh, we never see uh, certain deaths compared to the industrial point of view uh, same thing we uh, can uh, study we can understand uh, this diagram or this uh, 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 o-axis in that diagram we said the uh, aggregate output o-axis we take the price level uh, in this diagram uh, there are two aggregate supply uh, curve aggregate supply one aggregate supply two and uh, one diagram you see, uh, one curve you see there ad means aggregate demand curve which is downward from left to right uh, in this diagram uh, we see there aggregate supply uh, curve one become aggregate supply curve two why uh, because of that uh, price increase and aggregate output decrease why aggregate output is decreased and why price is increased because of cost push inflation means initial uh, equilibrium point is e1 and new equilibrium point is e2 uh, when we see distance between e1 and e2 that uh, distance show us the cost push inflation through the general price level uh, when we move on the next slide according to the views on economics on inflation first Keynes uh, view uh, it is the out outcome of autonomous increase in expenditure increase in expenditure according to the Keynes then second uh, Friedman's view it is the cause due to the rapid increase in quantity of money than output and third uh, Meridal and Street Hunt according to them inflation rise because of aggregate demand and aggregate supply imbalance uh, these are three economics pointed out their thought according to their level but their main purpose is why increase the inflation in any economy either a developed economy or underdeveloped economy we can understand more about policy measure to control inflation there are two policy measures first is the monetary policy and second is fiscal policy but first we can learn more about the monetary policy how to keep control the uh, prices how to keep control on inflation under the monetary policy which is the part are uh, more related to the RBI and we know that Reserve Bank of India which is the central bank of our country they are using the quantitative credit control instruments one by one we discuss and brief uh, bank rate by increase the bank rate when RBI want to keep control on prices, they start increase the bank rate. Once RBI increase the bank rate, automatically other commercial banks have to increase their bank rate. Once bank rate increase, then borrowing will be uh, people can borrow less from the bank, and uh, the, through that RBI may keep control on. Uh, the money uh, supply in our economy second uh, we see the CRR CRR means cash reserve ratio by increasing the cash reserve ratio RBI keep control on inflation uh, all commercial bank require keep some percentage in RBI as cash form once RBI start increasing the CRR definitely bank how to keep more cash reserve in the bank then bank get less amount to lend for 
borrowers through that also RBI keep control on inflation. Uh, third, we see the SLR. SLR means statutory liquidity ratio. By increasing statutory liquidity ratio, RBI keep control on inflation. Statutory liquidity ratio means commercial by all commercial bank. I am not talking about the one single commercial bank or one particular banks. All bank have to require keep liquidity with them according to the RBI's rules and regulations. So RBI start increasing statutory liquidity ratio. Then all bank require keep more liquidity in their uh, deposit in their bank uh, in their uh, facilities uh, for their facilities. So statutory liquidity ratio also help to the RBI keep control on general price level into economy. After that we move on the another open market operation by increasing open market operation by like we say the buying and selling government securities. When RBI want to keep control government securities that time they by uh, carrying out open market operation which is the another platform get to the RBI keep uh, uh, on price level into our economy. And uh, another is there by using the repo rate and reverse repo rate. A repo rate means by uh, by which rate are by giving loan to the commercial bank. But that period is very short. A repo rate means when RBI want to keep control in short period, that time they are using a repo rate. Reverse repo rate also require that because they have to maintain the currency level in our economy. But reverse repo rate is always less than repo rate. So reverse repo rate means RBI borrowing money from the commercial banks according to the rate means reverse repo rate. So these are the quantitative credit control measures uh, RBI can use when they want to keep control on inflation or uh, keep control on uh, prices into our economy. Through that, uh, not only it's helped to RBI implement proper policy for our economy, but it's helped to producer, it helped to consumer, it helped to customer. After that, we move on the next slide, where you see certain measures taken by the government of India. We know that monetary policies totally depend on the RBI. So, here fiscal policy measures which is related to the government of India. Uh, there we see first reducing budget deficit. We know that budget deficit total expenditure is more than total revenue or total uh, income. That time government have to keep control on their expenditure. If government start increasing their expenditure uh, without think of their revenue, that time def budget deficit will be increased. But when government target keep control on inflation, that time they have to reducing budget deficit. Second point is there rising uh, taxes and reducing expenditure. Uh, here. Once government start increasing direct tax, indirect tax, they uh, can keep control on inflation level, but simultaneously they have keep control on expenditure level also. Third point is impounding budget surplus. Inflation, this part government can control through the budget surplus and they have to maintain such type of level. It is helped to them. So, uh, remain part uh, we will discuss uh, in uh, next slide. Thank you.